right uh, we are discussing lectures module as well as question and answer module for every week this is the first week we have already have one lecture on the important events of the week and this is part 2 of question and answers so let us look at question by question with brief explanation for each and every answer right the first question is k radha krishnan retired as the chairman of familiar person every one of you knows that he retired as chairman of indian space research organization that is isro he is from kerala he retired on superannuation and indian space research organization and lot of milestones were there during his career during his tenure what i mean to say one is the expedition to mars second one is chandrayaan so these two are important milestones during his tenure so mr radhakrishnan retired as chairman isro right next the fiscal deficit during the period april november 14 reached dash percent of target for the year 1415 before looking at this question what is fiscal deficit fiscal deficit is the difference between government's expenditure and revenue the difference between government's expenditure and revenue is known as fiscal deficit the target kept for the year 2014-15 is 5.31 lakh crores the target of fiscal deficit is 5.31 lakh crores you may ask a question how the government uh, will adjust when the expenditure is more than income when in expenditure is more than revenue then how the government will manage government will manage by going to public borrowing that means they borrow from public they borrow from banks they borrow from financial institutions that way they will manage the fiscal deficit so the fiscal deficit for this year is 5.31 lakh crores government already reached 99% of the fiscal deficit the answer for this question is 99% so government already reached 99% of the fiscal deficit it is a main worrying point but government is not bothered about things because there is reduction in the crude prices because of which there will be reduction in the subsidies that means expenditure will be less it is expecting some revenue through spectrum auction it is expecting some revenue through disinvestment so because of these things i think government is not worried though 99% of the fiscal deficit target is reached by november 14 right look at this question government of india decided to split the post of chairman and managing director in you see except state bank of india other public sector banks previously have uh, this arrangement of chairman and managing director now government decided to split this post one will be chairman the other one will be managing director and ceo md and ceo managing director and chief executive officer and one side it will be chairman so chairman will not be the real head and the real head will be md and ceo managing director and chief executive officer now the various posts in banks are being filled with the new criteria of md and ceo but not as chairman and md right so the answer for this is government of india decided to split the post of chairman and md in public sector banks right next smugglers a bond and a cargo ship carrying 970 migrants near italian coast what happens is i would like to tell you there are lot many disturbances in the uh, west asia if you look at syria if you look at kurdish region of iraq if you look at mn there are several countries where day in and day out lot of disturbances are taking place and lot of people are getting displaced even in afghanistan also lot of people are getting displaced in one way or the other they want to escape their country and go to some other country here what will happen is smugglers normally by taking money and by collecting money from various means they take these people into the ships and they abandon the ship in the mid sea 
by autopilots that means there will not be any pilots they just abandon the ship in between and recently one such instance is near the italian coast one cargo ship with the 970 passengers was kept on autopilot mode autopilot in the sense it, there will not be any pilot to drive that ship so in that particular condition 970 migrants were saved by italian coast guard and the name of the ship is it is blue sky m cargo right so why this type of instances take place because of several displacement taking in many parts of the world right next one this is the question name the country which lifted the moratorium on capital punishment capital punishment is nothing but death penalty when a person is hanged because of the serious uh, conviction this is the serious conviction by the court and this is the this is also known as capital punishment because the it is the most serious punishment a human being can get that's why it is called capital punishment that is nothing but a death penalty and previously for the past 6 years pakistan put a ban on death penalty but recently after two terror attacks one in peshawar army school and the other one near the india pakistan border after the two serious terror incidents pakistan recently lifted the moratorium on death penalty remember capital punishment and death penalty are one and the same and recently pakistan lifted that capital punishment or moratorium on capital punishment was lifted so now pakistan is executing several convicts in recent times so remember pakistan is also the worst sufferer of terrorism in recent times right look at the next one name the country which assumed the presidency of council of the european union you know european union is the group of countries and how they govern themselves there will be european commission council of the european union like that seven bodies are there for council of the european union one country will head that every 6 months one country will head that council of the european union for 6 months period recently latvia is nominated to head for 6 months period right so latvia is nominated to head council of the european union for 6 months right look at the next question resolution to grant the statehood to palestina in the united nations jordan introduced one resolution to grant statehood to palestina with east jerusalem as the capital but two countries objected to it out of the 15 members in the security council of united nations five members abstained they have not participated in the voting and two members voted against it the two countries are australia and united states of america so they are blocking the statehood for palestina palestina has got its own history and the problem with israel all those things we will discuss in some other class but for the time being palestina is not going to become state because european uh, this uh, united nations resolution was vetoed by america and voted against by australia right next one name the city in china where the new year stampede killed at least 36 people there was a huge gathering near the bund in the city shanghai in china and there because of the stampede which took place subsequently 36 people were killed so the answer is shanghai let us move on to the next question author of capital in the 21st century famous book written by mr thomas piketty thomas piketty is the famous economist of france he wrote a famous book capital in the 21st century there his main stress is capitalism is not able to bring people out of poverty and the gap between rich and poor is increasing and he is the author of capital in the 21st century but he refused to take the legion of honor legion of honor is given by france government 
as the highest honor but he refused to take it admitting that governments are not there to decide who will get the honor please remember in this context thomas piketty is the famous economist of france he refused the honor he is the author of capital in the 21st century right 4g device redmi note belongs to right everyone knows redmi note nowadays people are talking about 4g 4g is based on lte LTE technology LTE is nothing but long term evolution 4G is basically on long term evolution technology LTE and in this question 4G device Redmi Note belongs to China right the answer is China government plans to purchase 126 Rafale fighter aircraft in this context i would like to tell you normally most of the defense purchases in this country or from russia and nowadays government is looking at purchases from countries like france israel america so at present also almost 70% of our defense purchases are from russia now government wants to look at other countries in this context government is planning to purchase 126 rafale aircraft they are fighter aircraft they are being manufactured by france the right answer is france discussions are going out to sort out the differences so the rafale aircraft series belongs to france so france is the right answer next one mb besbarwa committee right before looking into this question i would like to tell look at the boy who is appearing in the picture he is nido tania Nido Tania is the boy appearing in this picture and he was beaten to death on the roads of Delhi last year by discriminating him by quoting his origin by quoting his race he is the man from northeast and he was beaten to death on the roads of Delhi last year he is Nido Tania because of racial discrimination he lost his life and subsequently government appointed besbarwa committee so this mp besbarwa committee has recently submitted its report on the racial discrimination against northeast people so the right answer for this question is racial discrimination against northeast people right next one as per the recent report provided by tiger net 66 wild tiger deaths were reported in 2014 in 2014 all together 66 tigers were dead out of which the state which led in tiger deaths is tamil nadu which accounted for 15 tiger deaths which is followed by madhya pradesh so tamil nadu accounted for maximum number of tiger deaths right look at the next one as per the reports highest grossing bollywood film is it broken all the records established previously by various films like dhoom or three idiots now it is the biggest grosser with more than 300 crore rupees more than 300 crore rupees collections now this pk became the biggest grosser in bollywood film industry right look at the next question there is excavation going on at harappan site that is chandayaan the place called which has shown that there are mud walls harappan civilization it was dated long back around 4000 to 5000 uh, years ago so harappa mohenjodaro you might have heard about these things in history so the harappan site excavations are going on at a place in chandayaan uh, that is uh, in bagpat district of uttar pradesh there the excavations have shown that there are mud walls at the same time the structures are four layered that means indicating that multi story structures or multi story floor levels were in existence in those days so uh, four successive floor levels were found in the excavations so this chandayaan was the place is the place in bagpat district of uttar pradesh remember the excavations of this harappan site chandayaan 
or in Uttar Pradesh. Right? Look at the next one. Kiran B. Vadodariya was elected as president of Indian Newspaper Society. Kiran B. Vadodariya was elected the president of Indian Newspaper Society. So, Mr. Kiran B. Vadodariya belongs to Sambhav Metro newspaper and he is elected as the president of Indian Newspaper Society. Right? Next one. Ishan Mudai, Ishan Vikas schemes. I would like to tell you a little bit about these two schemes. Ishan Mudai, under this scheme, Government of India wants to grant 10,000 scholarships for the people from Northeastern region. Ishan Mudai, 10,000 students from Northeastern region will be granted scholarships. The next scheme is Ishan Vikas. Under Ishan Vikas, students will be selected from Northeastern region and internship will be given in IITs, IIMs and nationally reputable institutions. So, this Ishan Uday, Ishan Vikas, these two schemes, one is for scholarships and the other one is for internship in prime institutions. These two schemes are exclusively meant for the people from Northeast region. Right. The correct answer is Northeast region. You are looking at the picture, Shnruti Jubin Irani. She is the Human Resource Development Minister of Government of India. Right? Look at the next one. National Sports University is coming up in Manipur. Government of India wants to establish premier institution that is National Sports University in Manipur. Already money is allocated for that and it was announced in the budget for the year 2014-15. It is going to come up in Manipur region of India. Right? Look at it, the group which celebrated 60 years of its existence in Mumbai recently. Prime Minister also participated in this. ICICA group completed 60 years of its existence. Initially, ICICA was started as a financial institution to help industry. Subsequently, a bank was established by ICICA group. Now, that ICICA group, initial financial institution, was merged into ICICA bank. Now, ICICA bank is in existence. Overall, the group was started in the year 1955. So, ICICI completed 60 years of its existence. And in this context, they are going to develop Akodra as a digital village in Sabarkanta district of Gujarat. We have already discussed at that point. Right? Next one. ICICI will develop Akodara as digital village that is in Sabarkanta district of Gujarat. I have already told you an anim animal hostel is in existence in Akodara village. Look at the picture that animal hostel was started by Mr. Narendra Modi when he was the chief minister. So, Akodara village is in Gujarat. Next one, name the country which agreed to join the Silk Route economic belt through Tibet. I would like to emphasize one point, China is aggressively pushing two projects. One is the silk route through land which it wants to connect China right up to Europe through Central Asia. They want to, they are pushing aggressively for that. Recently one freight train was also introduced which connects China with Spain traveling over 10,000 kilometers. So, China is aggressively pushing for trade related route through the Central Asia connecting China with Europe. Similarly, it is also pushing for maritime silk route that means through sea to connect Africa with China. So, interior Africa will be connected to China through maritime silk route. So, these two projects China is pushing aggressively. So, in the land silk route project, now Nepal gave its acceptance to participate in the silk route project. Right? The answer for this question is Nepal. Next one. The target to open dash accounts under Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana has already been achieved. The target given was initially 7.5 crores, subsequently 10 crores. That was also crossed. Now, 11.5 crore accounts were opened under PJ, PMJDY. 
which is the record ever and it is going into the Guinness Book of Records. 11 and a half crore accounts have already been opened. The target to in this question is 10 crore accounts was the target, but government already achieved 11 and a half crores, right? Next one. CBI decided to investigate approximately 45,000 crore cheat fund scam of PSCL. Pearl Agrotech Corporation Limited, PSCL means it has got its businesses in the northwestern part of the country and here the SEBI initially claimed that as per the version of Securities and Exchange Board of India, they are into collective investment schemes without proper approvals. Then the company approached the Securities Appellate Tribunal against the judgment of SEBI and subsequently CBI started investigation against this firm and this firm belongs to Jaipur. So the answer here is Jaipur PACL is Pearl Agrotech Corporation Limited. Here initially SEBI felt that it resorted to collective investment scheme without proper approvals. Then the firm contested with the Securities Appellate Tribunal. Now CBI is investigating into the case. So the answer here is Jaipur. They have their operations towards the northwestern part of the country, right? Look at the next question. India's resolution to celebrate June 21 as International Yoga Day. Government of India, after the new government came to power, proposed International Yoga Day and June 21 will be celebrated as International Yoga Day and almost it got support from 177 countries out of 193 United Nations member nations. You know, the total membership of United Nations is 193. Out of 193, 177 countries supported the Modi's resolution of June 21 as the International Yoga Day, right? Next one. RBI advanced deadline to provide banking services in unbanked areas. Where the population is less than 2000, government wants to go to those areas with the concept of ultra small branches and bank mitras and government of India after seeing the response for Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana has advanced the deadline to August 14, 2015. So the right answer for this question is August 14, 2015, right? Look at the next question. Reliance Power recently commissioned a sixth unit of 660 megawatt at Sasan UMPP. What is UMPP? UMPP is nothing but ultra mega power project. It is coal based. Ultra mega power project is coal based. 4000 megawatt capacity, not like 1000 or 500. So it is the uh, bigger version of coal project with 4000 megawatt power. So already Mundra got commissioned in Gujarat. UMPP at Mundra already got commissioned by Tata. So there already the power plant is in operation. The second one came up at Sasan. Sasan is in Madhya Pradesh. Reliance Power developed this. The third one is coming up at Krishna Patnam in Andhra Pradesh. Right? The next one. Kyan Sangam. This is a retreat for banks and financial institutions. Two days Nan Sangam was held at National Institute of Bank Management, NIBM, Pune, Kyan Sangam. Their various public sector banks, financial institutions, regulators, finance ministry officials all got together to discuss various burning issues in banking sector. What are the main burning issues in banking sector? First burning issue is NPAs and the second burning issue which is uh, uh, affecting the banking system, which may affect the banking system in future is lot of funds required for cap maintaining capital adequacy ratio, right? They have discussed at NIBM Pune. Next one, which of the following is fashion and e-lifestyle retailer, e -tailer. fashion and lifestyle e-tailer is Mintra.com. Others are Amazon, America based, Flipkart, India based. It started with books, 
it is into the other aspects also alibaba is china based these are all e-commerce companies out of these mintra.com is fashion e-retailer right look at this the namo story the author of namo story is mr king shuknak you are looking at the cover page of the book that is written by mr king shuknak let us move on to the next question name the indian coast guard vessel which intercepted the pakistani boat loaded with explosives we have already discussed what happened on 31st december night now after getting information from dornier aircraft indian coast guard vessel the name of the coast guard vessel is raj ratan the name of the coast guard vessel is raj ratan so it intercepted that boat subsequently the boat got itself blew off in the arabian ocean around 360 kilometers from the boundary of gujarat right it's the next one panic gripped the villagers of silent valley silent valley where is it it is in the western ghats it is situated in kerala and there they suspected maoist attacks started recently because of that panic gripped in that area and that silent valley is in kerala so kerala is the right answer green peace green peace is the non governmental organization run being run with funds from abroad and government is looking at the activities of these non governmental organizations because to have development definitely some compromise is required with regard to the environmental issues but the non governmental organizations funded from other countries normally they look at one side that is destruction of environment that's why government goes cautiously and governments uses checks and balances against these ngos being operated with foreign funds so the picture which you are looking at is priya pillai who was not allowed to flow to london to address the members of parliament there and this is green peace organization right dbtl scheme look at this question what is the name given to the dbtl scheme dbtl scheme is direct benefit transfer for lpg you will get the subsidy directly into your bank accounts and 14.2 kg cylinders allowed per year is 12 and 5 kg cylinders allowed per year is 34 for this you will get subsidy and this subsidy will be directly transferred to your bank account and the name given by the government to the scheme is pahal remember pahal is the name given to the scheme of direct benefit transfer for lpg right look at this controversial issue as badminton player sania nehwal saina nehwal is in controversy over the nomination for padma bhushan actually the ministry of sports has not recommended her name to ministry of home affairs because of that there was lot of controversy subsequently ministry of sports recommended her name also so this is with regard to padma bhushan award she is already the winner of padma shri award so there is a view that the sports persons or eminent personalities need not uh, take this route of making controversies for awards and anyhow the answer for this is saina nehwal is in the news because of controversy pertaining to padma bhushan award right which group recently purchased big cinemas big cinemas is owned by anil dhirubhai ambani anil ambani group is big cinemas that group was purchased by carnival cinemas for around 700 crore rupees so big cinemas was purchased by carnival group for around 700 crore rupees look at the last question the first nbfc to be appointed as business correspondent recently rbi revised the guidelines non banking finance companies can also enter as business correspondents because of their wider reach in the rural areas so taking that into view this is the first nbfc mutut finance is the first non banking finance company which 
is appointed as business correspondent so muthoot finance is the right answer for this question so i hope that you enjoyed all these questions we'll meet next time so every week you will have one lecture session two question and answer sessions so if you have any feedback on this if you want any suggestions if you have any corrections please email us right thank you